Okay, hello, my name is Hunter Day, I'm a senior here. Uh, I'm Aiden Cornelius, I'm a junior. And I would like to introduce you to the Diverse Learning Space, or DLS for short. Um, so the name is actually um, something we came upon, we kind of pondered it for a while because we didn't want to call it the Raider Lounge or something generic like that. So we came up with a Diverse Learning Space to implement like aspects of care, especially the E and embracing, not just what's on the outside of someone, but uh, the diversity and help different people learn, not just with someone standing up in front of the room. Um, by through like hands-on or in small groups or one-on-one -on -one different aspects like that. Um, so we try to incorporate different zones within our uh, floor plan and uh, Aiden will touch on that a little bit more. All right, so first, as you can see on our um, floor plan, we labeled our different areas. So obviously in the bottom of the room, I'll take you to the camera view, uh, over here with these tables, they are actually singular triangle, triangular desks that lock together into tables so that you can pull them out. But when they're in the table form, they form groups of six, and that's a present space where you can do group instruction. There is a smart board in the back. Um, and it's just a place for a teacher, more like a traditional classroom where a teacher would stand in the front, talk to the students, they can take notes, um, but there's also seating along the other side here on a almost like there's like a bar on the side, and it has raised stools right here, um, and that's almost for you can turn them around, around and listen to the lesson, so it's like extra seating. But also, if a lesson is over, it can be used for individual workspace. Uh, maybe someone could do work with a laptop there. And then we have around here with the, uh, the couches, um, we have more of like a, in a one on one workspace for, say, a teacher wants to talk to a student, or maybe we have a small group and students have to collaborate a little bit. It's more of a comfortable seating arrangement. And the parts of the couch those uh, can be picked up, moved, so they could be almost act as normal seats, uh, however you want, however it would be best for uh, your objective. And then in the back of the room, we have uh, two flat screen TVs, uh, two tables, and then simple chairs. So that would be space for a small group to work on their presentation, maybe practice presenting to each other with the flat screen TVs. Obviously, you can hook it up to just a laptop. Um, and it's just a little bit more functional nowadays than a conventional smart board. Uh, and you could also flip those around and use this bar up here as a, another area to pay attention to your teacher talking in the front of the room. Um, that's pretty much generally it. We picked some uh, carpet for the bottom flooring, but um, <clears throat> for the upper level, we went for a little bit of hardwood because it, uh, it works nicer up there than the carpet yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, it's hardwood. <laughs> that could always be changed. Though. So, uh, any questions? Can you explain the lighting you chose? Uh, yeah, we didn't want to go for a tra tra um, traditional like <laughs> school lighting, industrial lighting. So we went for something that would be found in a more modern area. Uh, there's simple like tripods that can be moved. And then over in the lounge seating, it, they have simple like almost like wall lamps. So those could be flipped off. Uh, it's almost like a reading light. Any other questions? We had spoken before, and I just clar to clarify, you said that you were not given a budget constraint for this, so, yeah. <laughs> just to make sure. We would keep that in mind. Yeah. That's on Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So it looks like sure. uh, you got added uh, tiers. Um, yeah, there, there's, and there's less, less space. <laughs> is there really less space than what's in there now as far as the amount of seating? And what do you mean? For the... Are you talking about the like the floor plan with tables, it just looks yeah. like there's less available seating space. Than um, I don't know. I think it just took up more space with what we were doing because for um, so 
still down here. Right, I guess I can. Oh, there we go. So with the uh, these are steps down, so they took up a bit of room to make them regulation height. So we just had to operate within that. Would the vision be that if kids want to hang out on the steps and you know sort of sit and, and collaborate that way, is that part of it? Like yeah, totally. Sitting on a step and using the other level to. Put your yeah, that was the idea with the um, with the bars. So we had in the middle of the room. There's two levels, and so actually, when we were looking at some of the other classrooms that we were shown that had like uh, steps down and stuff, there were students that could sit on the step, use the step above it, and then there were also like bars on the higher steps that go down the lower steps. So we decided that we could combine those two ideas. So yeah, you could obviously use this desk on the lower section or on the stairs. Is that seating right there too? Like where they'd sit on that top step where the wood is right there? Uh, look at the we didn't plan for that, but uh, could use it. Can you talk about your color palette a little bit? Uh, we just kind of wanted Raider colors. Uh, tried to keep it within you know, Fairport theme. And then we had our feature wall actually. We can't do it on here, but what we'd like to add would have be a Fairport Raider logo and then once a Raider, always a Raider on the wall. So it'd be uh, a Raider zone uh, in the room. We also did design the front of the classroom with the white, the whole wall would be a whiteboard paint, so you could just yeah. write all over the board. walls if you want to do something. Nice. Good. How high is the, uh, the deck level? Uh, it's, I believe, under three feet, so we didn't need a railing for it. Um, How much space did you chop off from the side of the L? Like, I, I know that you're, it's currently a floor, you're going to realize it as a bar. Um, so how much did you go in? Because obviously it's probably not a full so floor space. This side right here, are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, obviously you had to take yeah, that off, right? That's quite a bit in. So what? Right. What ours would be would be we'd basically just destroy everything that's there. Cause mm -hmm. We'd redesign the new level because uh, it almost wraps around more on the other side of the room, and then this would just be simply yeah, just a little bar that goes in. That's probably like two feet wide, so quite a bit in the <coughs> original. Yeah, I'd say about three or four feet taken off of what was it? Adding space. Yeah. Uh, would parkour happen in here? Like <laughs> 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 the Jim runs out of space. They can. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great. Anything else? Good job. All right,